Hey guys, it's Viv, and for today's video, I'm here with Pays and Mel, and we're going to be showing you how to make doll sweaters. So with the holidays coming up, um, sweaters are such an essential because of the cold weather, and they look good with anything, and honestly, they're like a great piece to wear all year round. So this tutorial is going to show you how to make your very own sweater for your American Girl doll. Um, this tutorial can be modified to create turtlenecks and like crew neck sweaters um, as well. You just have to change your fabric type and then also like the neckline. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the tutorial as well. So if you want to know how to do that, just keep on watching. So the first thing you want to do is cut out your pieces according to any long sleeve t-shirt pattern that you like. I'll link the one that I use in the description box below. And on top of that, you're going to need to cut out some rectangles of fabric that stretch in the horizontal direction and that are double the width of the binding that you want on the sleeve and the neckline. And for my fabric, I chose this lightweight knit material. And because it's a knit, I had to change the needle in my sewing machine to a ballpoint needle so that the fabric would sew a little bit smoother. So the first thing you want to do is take the body piece right sides up and lay the back pieces on right sides touching and then sew the shoulder seams. Then notch the center point of the sleeves and starting from the center you'll want to pin the sleeves onto um, the body portion of the sweater. Then go ahead and sew the sleeves on. Once you have that, you can unfold, like fold down the sleeve and then take a piece of fabric, like one of those rectangles, fold it in half and line up the raw edges with the raw edge of the sleeve and sew it on, stretching as you sew. Then go ahead and fold the sweater in half and sew the side seams. And then flip it right sides out and you can now attach the neck binding. So um, you want to do this in the same way that you did um, the sleeves. However, if you want your sweater to have a thinner or thicker neckline to be like a turtleneck or like a loose crew neck sweater, then that's going to depend on the size of seam allowance that you use or the size of the rectangle that you use. So you can see that the rectangle I used for this sweater was pretty big, so it ended up being a really big turtleneck. And then after you sew that on, you can go ahead and attach Velcro, or you can do what I did and only attach a small snap at the top to make the sweater an open back sweater, and you are done your um, sweater for American Girl Doll. So you can see that I also added some top stitching along the seam of the neckline as well, and I did that on the sleeves too, just to give it some extra detail. And then the sweater was done interested in the sweaters that I made in this video, they will be in an upcoming Etsy release. Be sure you so be sure you follow my Etsy Instagram, which is at White Wilco, and you follow my Dolly Delights Instagram um, for more updates on when that's gonna be. And yeah, so that's actually it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't, that you don't miss um, videos like this Ever After High and Barbie doll videos as well. And if you have any suggestions on what type of videos you want to see for the holiday or just sewing in general, you can let me know in the comment section down below as well. And yeah, thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you next time for another one. Bye!